I know, Sebastian is again missing for today's reviewing you around the world to films episode. So it means again, it's just going to be you and me in today's video. Let's do this. Welcome back to the channel Underwater Filmmakers and another episode of reviewing your underwater films. Unfortunately, again, without Sebastian as he's busy again today and couldn't make it for the recording of this video. But I've got his replacement again here with me, the Red Komodo setup, Mr. Tiny is going to be joining us for today's video review. Now, the video that we're going to be reviewing today has been submitted by Christoph. I don't have a last name here. Christoph um, has uh, written a bit of a text here, which I want to share with you guys. He is a uh, father of two kids, seven and 14 years old, uh, with a passion for scuba diving. During the lockdown, the pandemic, they have started a website about diving specialized um, for beginners and families. They call themselves um, Les Plongeurs Padavan, uh, the Padavan Divers. Um, and uh, he writes here that they're not professional, or just having some good time together um, and exploring the underwater world. Uh, so he's uh, submitted two videos. I've just picked out one of the two videos that we're going to watch here today. The other one you can uh, certainly watch on his channel, which as always is going to be linked to uh, down in the video description of this video below the channel as well as the video that we're watching today. So um, in regards to the equipment that he's been using, he writes here that he's used a Sea Life Micro 3.0 and some Sea Dragon lights. A nice little compact setup. So let's just jump right into the video and see what Christoph has prepared for us.
Excellent. Very, very nice. Thank you so much, Christoph and family, for submitting this video to the series here. Um, I've got a couple of things written down while I was watching that I would like to share with you that is uh, hopefully going to help you in uh, uh, improve your underwater videography skills. Having said that though, I really enjoyed this video because it is in a uh, very um, happy mood. I think that the choice of music, uh, the music that you've picked is really fitting to the whole concept of the video. I think that this one was the one um, that was focusing on your daughter, uh, which I guess is the 14 year old one. Um, so you were trying to put her in the center of the whole film, um, showcasing her a couple of times throughout the film as she was jumping into the water, as she was being underwater. And uh, basically it's like the story from what I understand of her going through that dive and what she sees um, throughout that dive. And that worked very well. It's a very nice way of remembering such a dive and then keeping a little memory of what you've seen throughout such a dive. So I think that has worked from a concept uh, point of view very nicely with that video. Um, there's a couple of things that I would have done slightly differently. Um, right at the beginning, Christoph, there was a, uh, like all of the shots were obviously um, horizontal, your normal 16 to nine aspect ratio. And then uh, suddenly you had a vertical shot uh, just mixed in between all the other shots where your girl was jumping into, uh, into the water. Um, from the boat and that really didn't make too much sense to me. I would have just kept that um, clip out for two reasons. First of all, it's in a different aspect ratio than the other clip, so it doesn't really fit in there in my opinion. But secondly, also because we already had seen another clip of your um, daughter uh, doing a backwards roll entry into the water and then she is back on the boat and does another you know giant stride entry from the boat into the water and that from a storyline perspective doesn't really make much sense to go you know back and forth because once she's entered the water the viewer is expecting to then go underwater and see what she's seen on a dive and not do a, you know a multitude of different entries um on that on that dive because to me it seemed like it was one dive it obviously wasn't but it seemed to be one dive at least at the beginning so i would have left that second uh, that second entry it, it's not really adding anything to the story if anything it's probably more confusing than anything else so i would have left that away you have been uh, uh, quite consistent with your um, transitions um, from what i've seen there's only been one transition that i didn't really like, which was right at the beginning, sort of a, uh, uh, a transition that was moving from one side to the other one. And that was the only transition that you used, uh, or the only style of transition that you used other than straight cuts, I think, and the fade out towards the end. Um, so it, it didn't really do much to the video in terms of adding value. So I would just have kept that, uh, left that out, that transition, and just used a regular straight cut or a fade in, fade out, or cross fade, probably even better. Um, but yeah, I would, I would have not used that transition, especially because it's only just that one. If you were going with that transition for every single one throughout the video, okay, one could argue that it is a style that you're going for, but having just that one transition like that, uh, I don't think it does much good to the video there, so I would leave that out. Um, what else? I've got written down also stabilization. Um, some of your shots seem to be a little um, a little shaky, a little instable. And um, I'm guessing that since you have the micro um, 3.0 and the Sea Dragon lights, that you it does come with a little tray which should already help you with stabilizing that footage. Now, I have not used that camera before, so I don't know how good the in-body, or whether or not it at all, it has an in-body stabilization, how good it is. But what you can always do if the frame rates allow you, the frame rates options, um, shoot at a higher frame rate and then slow down your footage when you bring it into post-production. That's gonna smooth out those little micro jitters quite a bit and will just give the viewer a, a much smoother viewing experience that way. Um, I talked about the music, which I really liked. Um, I do think that um, the colors look pretty uh, pretty decent, pretty nice on most of your shots. I don't know how much color grading you have really done here, um, but um, yeah, whatever you've done, it seems to have worked. The colors looked quite natural in most of the clips to me. Um, 
maybe also because from what I what I guess most of the videos were taken in rather shallow depth uh, good visibility that obviously helps to get better colors and nicer nicer looking images so that's just a tip for everyone out there if you uh, don't want to struggle too much with color correction and, and all that sort of stuff just try to film in shallow water clear water good visibility and when the sun is out it's just going to make it so much easier to capture really nice looking images uh, like from scratch without having to do much in post-production um, what else? Uh, I've also written down that um, I would probably try to capture a larger variety of different angles and perspectives of your shots. Um, quite a few times um, I noticed that you were filming from uh, above down onto the ground with the uh, the big stingray, with the moray eel. There was a couple of shots that were from up down. Some of these shots worked very nicely when you were actually filming from top down into that canyon. That was a really nice sequence because it was showing, you know, the dimensions and the depth and, and, and the, the vastness of the canyon. That was really cool. Um, but when you're filming wildlife, it oftentimes isn't a very pleasing perspective to have that top down perspective. There is exceptions. But generally speaking, it's not a very pleasing perspective. So I would try to get to, you know, eye level with your animal, with uh, the animal that you're filming or slightly below, the, below them. So you can film up to the surface, getting a bit more extra light in there. Um, so, for example, with that, I know with the stingray, it's probably difficult because he was moving around. But with the moray eel that was hiding in between the rocks, um, I would try to go down to the moray eel and try to film it sort of at eye level. That's gonna, just going to give you a nicer, uh, more pleasing looking image that way. Also, try to get some different variations of angles. Try to get some closer up shots. And again, I don't know um, whether or not you're capable of zooming with that camera. Um, but if you are, try to or whether you are capable of zooming or not, try to get just simply closer to your object and get some closer shots, uh, some portrait shots, and uh, the other one, the wide angle shots, you have already gotten there. Um, right, and I really liked uh, to bring the uh, criticism here to an end. I really enjoyed, really liked your closing shot uh, above water at the end of the dive when we saw the dolphins just passing by. That was actually a really nice closing shot I found for the entire story and, uh, and the video that you were submitting here today. So that's kind of the feedback that I can give you for that submission, Christoph. Thank you again so much for having uh, let me review this video and publish it here on the channel. Uh, I really enjoyed watching it, as I said at the beginning. I think it has a very upbeat, um, uh, happy times mood to it. And it, uh, I think it does animate people to uh, go and uh, scuba dive or try scuba diving, specifically uh, people who have not tried scuba diving before. So mission completed thank you very much for uh, creating that video and spreading that message uh, of how beautiful our oceans are out into the world as always christoph's video as well as his youtube channel will be linked down in the video description below if you want to head over there and uh, have a look at his other content feel free to do so if you have any questions about the video that we've watched today please feel free to put them down in the comment section below. Also, of course, if you do have any comments that you want to make, anything that I might have missed reviewing this video all by myself today, feel free to put them down in the comment section below as well. And if you have a video that you would like to submit and have me and hopefully Sebastian on the next episode uh, review this video here, then... Uh, feel free to send me the link to the uploaded video to contact at matthiaslebo.com and I'll be more than happy to watch and review it, hopefully with Sebastian by my side, um, as soon as we get to it. Please keep in mind that still we have a uh, waiting list of about six to eight months, uh, simply just due to the amount of submissions that we have lined up and that we've lined up already, but there is a way how you can get around this waiting time if you don't wanna wait for this long and you wanna have your video um, reviewed and published right away, you can become a member of the uh, of my YouTube channel. You can become an underwater uh, filmmaker uh, member, the membership plan there, uh, and this is gonna prioritize your video submission and we'll watch it and 
put it here on the, uh, publish it here on the YouTube channel right away. The way you can uh, become a member is by clicking the button, which is just below this video, which says become a member, and that's gonna lead you through the process there. Uh, at the same time, you're gonna be supporting this channel um, financially a little bit, making us capable of uh, continuing to make these videos on this channel here for you guys. And we really appreciate any support that we can get through you that way. Wow, so it's really a lot of talking that I have to do if Sebastian is not with me on these episodes here. So I'm really hoping that he will be back for the next episode that we'll uh, review here because it's gonna be a special one. It's gonna be the 50th, um, 50th review that we're gonna be making here. So a quite special uh, occasion. Um, I would really love to see you back here on the channel next Thursday for this um, celebratory reviewing video that we're going to be holding here. Um, until then, have a fantastic time. Thank you so much again for watching and uh, uh, being with me today here throughout this video. Keep capturing your amazing underwater adventures and I will see you next Thursday.